name is Luke, and welcome back to another Interbiotics tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Interbiotics X-Series Arm Joystick Control Package. This package allows you to control your Interbiotics arm using a joystick controller. To start, we're going to take a look at the general structure of this package. So launching the Joy Launch file launches the Interbiotics X-Series Arm Control Package. It launches the Joy node from the Joy package, XSARM Joy from the XSARM Joy package, XSARM Robot for the XSARM Joy package. So the Joy node reads in raw controller commands from your controller and publish the, publishes them to ROS in the form of the sensor message Joy message type the XSARM Joy node reads that sensor message, message, joy, message, and publishes or converts them into the arm joy message type and publishes them to the joy processed topic. And finally, the XSARM robot node, which builds on top of the Interbiotics Python ROS API, takes in those arm joy messages and publishes them or converts them into commands for the X series arm robot. So looking into the structure, first we're going to take a look at the XS arm joy node. So the highlights of this C++ file are the different button mappings. So here you can see the button mappings for the PS3 controller, the PS4 controller, and the Xbox 360 controller. So if you're going to write your own driver for your own custom controller or any other controller that is not listed here, this is what you will write. And then the other node is this XSARM robot.py script. And like I said, that builds on top of the Python ROS API. This Interbiotics Manipulator XS object is the subclass for this XSARM robot class. And you can see here we're loading all of the different configurations in. And this publishes to the um, commands joy single or commands joint single, commands joint group, and commands joint trajectory topics. Looking at this package's launch file, xsarmjoy.launch.py, we can see that it launches the different nodes that we talked about earlier. The joy node from the joy package, xsarm joy from the xsarm joy package, and xsarm robot from the xsarm joy package. The relevant launch arguments for this package are the threshold argument, where you can specify a value between 0 and 1 defining the joystick sensitivity that is set pretty high at 0.75 by default. And then the controller launch argument, where you specify the type of controller that you're using. You can specify between PS4, PS3, and Xbox 360. Uh, by default, it is set to PS4. So you can see that here, threshold 0.75 in controller, PS4, PS3, and Xbox 360. Further down the documentation page, you can see the button mappings written out in plain text. So next we'll see how to pair our controller. We're only going to review pairing your PS4 controller to Ubuntu 20.04. In the usage section of the joystick control package, you have the pair, you have a link to the pairing your controller guide. We can see how to do that for PS4, PS3, and PS4 and Raspberry Pi. So to pair your PS4 controller to Ubuntu 20.04, you can hold down the PS and share button. until the LED on the back of the controller starts flashing. We can head over to our Bluetooth settings, find wireless controller. 
it says connected, and the light is glowing a solid blue, and that means we're connected. To also check, you can move around on the touchpad, and you can see that our mouse is moving around as well. So now that our controller is paired to our computer over Bluetooth, here we're launching the XSARM control package using the ROS2 launch command, ROS2 launch, Interbotics XSARM joy, XSARM joy.launch.py, robot model is WX200, and the controller is PS4. All right, so our robot is up and running. We'll just run through some movements and some options. So press share or start or options to go to home. Select your share to go to sleep. R2 to move the waist joint clockwise. L2 to move the waist joint counterclockwise. So over here, uh, compress triangle to increase the gripper pressure. X to decrease the gripper pressure, square and circle to close and open the gripper respectively, D-pad up to increase the speed of the control loop, D-pad down to decrease the speed of the control loop, right stick down to pitch the end effector down, right stick up to pitch the end effector up, let's go back to home. R3 to reverse the right stick, left stick control. Let's reset that. Uh, left stick up and down to move the end effector up and down in Cartesian space. So left and right to move it forward and backward in Cartesian space. L3 reverses the left stick, right stick control. Uh, our robot is not six degree of freedom, but you would use R1 and L1 to move the end effector along its Y axis. And then pressing the PS button will torque off the robot. So we will just send it to its sleep pose so you can see that. So we're going to hold down the PS button for three seconds. All right, and that's it for this video. By the end of this tutorial, you should know how to use the X Series ARM joystick control package to control your X-Series arm using a joystick controller.